Mason Newsom is about to take in some cartoons and chill, but he's really being evaluated for autism. <laughs> This small device using eye tracking technology can help pinpoint if a child as young as 16 months is on the spectrum. Most kids in the U.S. aren't diagnosed until they're five years old. Why is this? It helps you cut through red tape. It helps you speed up a diagnosis. Yep. So what it does is it helps allow for a non-biased, objective evaluation because it doesn't discriminate. The, the device doesn't see color, it doesn't see race, it doesn't see culture. Approved by the FDA last summer, Early Point records a child's eye movements while they watch other kids socialize. Children with autism might appear more interested in hand gestures rather than the human who's making them or objects like jewelry. Hi, hi, hi. The L Center of Excellence is the first in South Florida and one of only a handful of clinical centers in the country to have the diagnostic tool. So if you can see, this is where most children are paying attention to and this is where Mason was paying attention to. If you go all the way back over to the video scene, you'll see that he was paying attention to the objects, the things versus the social people in the video. A huge peace of mind for me. Mason's mom says getting her 23 month old evaluated finally allowed her to stop second guessing herself and begin to put the pieces in place for early intervention. If I went years without getting the diagnosis, I mean, who knows how starting school could have happened. Because early point is a test that takes 15 minutes max, unlike older diagnostics that can take one to two hours, Wait times are cut down, more kids, they can get the intervention during those formative years. The test is approved for children 16 to 13 months. The push now is to make sure that it's a gold standard for insurance carriers to cover it.